What's going on guys? It's your boy Michael P96 and in this video it's going to be episode 2 of how to be successful on YouTube. Okay basically in this video I'm going to be talking about choosing the right capture card. So um, what you need to do is choose the capture card that is best for you. Um, I focus on the aspect of YouTube relaxed, um, of consoles and that, that's what inspired me to get started and it motivated me to start a career on YouTube. So if you play on consoles, um, this means like PS3, Xbox and the Wii, then I recommend you get a capture card. But if you play on PC, then obviously you can play. You can play um, on your PC and you can record with Fraps or Bandicam, as your choice. But um, I, if you're in a budget, then you don't want to spend too much money, then I suggest buying the Easy Cap. Now listen, the Easy Cap, as you guys probably know, is known to be one of the worst capture cards there are, like out there. So don't be too you know happy about it but you guys have sub subscribed to me and you guys know that I can make it look beast and um, if you follow my settings um, I use it easy capture record and if you look at the gameplay that is currently playing right now on the screen you'll see that I've mastered the easy cap quality and I've made it really good because it is an underrated capture card but um, it is pretty beast once you get the right settings I mean you do have a lot of trouble getting it but that's fine okay guys Next up is a Dazzle, okay, the Dazzle in my opinion is no different from the Easy Cap. it just costs a bit more money and it still out outputs 480p standard definition quality just like the Easy Cap. therefore I don't recommend buying it but you can get one if you want to but the Easy Cap is way better uh, value wise and quality wise I reckon. Okay, now if you want to start YouTube seriously and you really do think your channel is worth something then you could go and buy a HD capture card. But listen, guys, it, it, they, they do cost quite a lot of money, and you know, there's many well known capture cards that you can get. The common ones are the HD PVR, the Blackmagic Intensity Pro, and the Ava Media Game Capture um, C281, or the Dark Crystal HD. Um, and the new capture card is the Elgato, is it Elgato or Elgato? Elgato? Um, I think that buying a HD capture card straight away is going to help your channel, but let's say if your channel doesn't work out and you aren't liked by the community that will be a big blow to the bolster <laughs> because then if your your channel doesn't work out then obviously you're not going to be successful in what you do and um, all that money that you spent let's say 150 pound for the HD PVR or 200 dollars for the HD PVR I mean that could have been spent on something else um, I do know that buying a HD capture card will attract more viewers but trust me guys using a standard definition capture card um, you can still be successful. I mean, look at me. I'm, I'm a partner, and I've got standard definition capture card. I want easy cap, and I've got dazzle. But um, I still attract viewers, which I'm really happy about. But um, I think I'm not only got an easy cap, and sorry, on YouTube with an easy cap, and I've got a thousand subscribers, which is pretty beast. Um, it's entirely your choice, guys. But when you decide on what capture card you want, make sure you think carefully and make a decision because you don't want to blow all that money just to see it go to waste. I mean. If I wanted to, I could have bought a HD PVR straight away as well. But um, obviously, they do cost a lot of money, and obviously, I'm not, like I can get one if I want to. I've got the money for it. I've got I don't know about two hundred pounds in the bank. I mean, I can I can buy it right now if I wanted to. But um, I don't really see the point, guys, because the easy cap is pretty beast. And to be fair, guys, um, in my tutorial, all the steps that I do, it isn't too long. I mean, I can follow follow them steps straight away. I do it. I know the steps off by heart. I I mean. If I came to your house right now, guys, I could make the EasyCap quality look beast. I can make everyone's quality look good. Um, and I know the settings off by heart, basically, pretty much. And I know how to make it look better, and I know which way to go. But when you guys tell me your problems and stuff, I do kind of struggle a bit because um, some of you don't make it clear what's wrong, and some of the some of the problems you guys have are like new to me. And most of you have a DivX problem, the compression, so that's pretty bad okay guys so basically you need to have a good computer as well if you're gonna have a HD capture card Um with a standard definition capture card like me you don't have to have the best of computers but my computer is pretty beast but it's not all that actually it's um 4 gigabyte of RAM 3.1 gigahertz um, quad core i3 Intel and um, yeah that's it really and it's got a terabyte hard drive space but that's all been used with all my like videos and stuff so yeah and um, so if you're gonna get a HD capture card, you're gonna be using like 720p minimum. So 
that's going to be like quite CPU intensive and you're going to need a, um, a good computer for that because when you open it in Sony Vegas it might lag a bit so you need to get rid of that like lag so if you have a crap computer it's going to lag a lot and if you have a good computer it won't lag as much so I recommend getting a good computer as well if you're going to get that or a good laptop so choice but I think desktops are the way to go alright guys alright thanks for watching and let me know what you want to see in my next video in my next commentary and I'll be doing more videos okay Alright guys, thanks for watching, peace out.